Hi there, welcome back to Gadget Mad Lad. As you probably know from the intro, this is, oh, how I'm gonna put it in intro or not, but if I did, no I didn't. Anyway, it's a Sony mini displayer. It's an MZ G755 Type R. Problem with this little bugger is it doesn't work. It takes a double A, is it? Yeah, double A. Show you quickly. I think that's the right way. Yeah, it's the right way around. No sign of life. I mean, you could got one yourself at home that's having exactly the same problem, but the thing is, I watched this at, uh, say it's right, Chris, SJM4306. I think mean, that's the guy. Uh, well, E has got loads of stuff about mini displayers, which was quite useful to me because I thought I was panicking about opening this up, so I watched a few videos and I thought, okay, this is going to be really complicated. He did it and it's really easy, literally so easy. Well, not for the entirety of it, but for the bit I want, I want to do it is at least. So there's one, two, three, four Phillips screws on the main body itself. They're the four that we, we need to remove. I'm hoping this is going to be a really quick fix. And it's going to be like something as simple as just giving the battery terminals a clean. And jobs are good done. I've got a fully working mini player. The only thing I need to get now is some mini disc to try with. <laughs> but there's no sign of life at the moment, so... If we get sound alive, I consider this a win. And it'll just be a quick one, obviously. And just a quick thing as well, oh, I'll go for it in a minute. Because I'm going to have to gather a little bit when I... Well, the um, cleaning thing's drying. Because obviously, I don't want you getting bored listening to me. Or watching me even. I don't mind needing to do that, let's pull off. I think you said from this side, that would pry it maybe. So... We've got liftage, is it going to come off? Something's happening. Oh. There we go, did we go? Hmm, I'm confused. I don't think it's meant to do that. I may have done something wrong. So let's try prying it from this side maybe. Aha! Right, 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 right. Yes, there we go. Oh my god. That's gross. Uh, I was hoping that it was too some nail and we would do the trick, but now I'm thinking maybe not. I went to get this as one of the five minute fixes that I did, but I've seen some damage up here, so I'm thinking maybe the board might have to come out. But we'll, do, we'll try it anyway. So I've got the four screws there. So there. Don't roll off you. A toothbrush, no vanish remover. Don't forget it's done pronto. Let's put a little bit into that, the lid. I'm gonna dunk this in, it's what I used to clean my electronics with. This is my PA really, which is on my list to buy. A bit of wire there from another project. We got to the side, we don't like not getting stuck in anything. Let's start that off, camera. Little flick of there. Just gonna be clean. A lot of nasty brown stuff off there. Yeah, so my problem with this is this back is plastic, so I thought we could cut away it, give it a rechargeable battery, give it Type C recharging, and I'll make it the whole, all the bells and whistles. You can have Bluetooth if I could, we've got USB 3.0 thing there. Uh, Receiver and transmitter, so that, that means it can transmit to like speakers as well as receive. Got that for a, a, a macro video that I'm planning to do soon. Oh crap, oh god, uh... oh, okay. Oh, there's the problem. There's nothing left of the terminal. That's been taken out, maybe. It can't be right, surely. Missing something here. That's some bad leakage, that. <laughs> I don't think this is going to be fixable. I, I did want to make this a five minute fix, but it's looking like it's going to be a teardown at this point. I'd be very surprised if I get this working.
Hmm. Doesn't seem to be cutting it, does it? Plus there's nothing there for it to... Is that metal? Sure, it's meant to be metal there at the bottom. The battery terminal. The battery goes in positive way up. So it's like that kind of thing, get me? So the ground will touch, touch there and the positive will touch there, but what? don't see where it, how it connects to the board. Literally. Maybe that pin there. Well, that's not going to be for the thing, that'll be for the positive. So I'll do, do this. I'm going to get you up. Oh crap, they were tearing it just down, but I don't have an option. So there we go. Right, so that goes forward. Hopefully, I broke that off because that would be bad. Does that come out now? Yeah, that's out. So then I'll lift that up. Is that it? Is that allowed? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, so if I disconnect this one here, I think. Should be able to move the board totally at this point. I'm just assuming here. I have no knowledge in regards to this stuff, obviously. As you can probably clearly tell by my inability to diagnose what's wrong with it. Yeah, so the, something's broke off. Uh, there's meant to be something at the bottom. Is that going to be fixable? Mm, you can see the corrosion. That's quite bad, isn't it? This is... I don't know what's closed on it, I think. Right, so, oh, that'd be a nightmare to get me back in that, innit? Hmm. I've got my sold iron at the moment, so I can't do that. Right, so, it's just looking like this is a new basic teardown, then, so. I'll get back to this when I can. I think there's meant to be metal there. This is meant to connect here. This little rusty thing sticking out, you can see it. I'm getting shot. Focus. Focus. That's terrible. There we go. We're gonna go to shot now. Right, well, this little bar thing here. Let me wrap right my fingertip. See the gold bit. Well, that's part of it. It's meant to connect to the bottom of this thing here. And it's meant to go into that side there. And that's meant to have a terminal for the ground. So. This is only going to be fixable if I do my mod to it. Hmm, intriguing. Right, so, adding a Type-C <laughs> rechargeable battery to this little bugger eventually. That's the only way I can really take it from here. So, that it'll, that's what it'll be. I'll add a battery first and see if I can actually one day that. I'll solder a battery directly to it, so, is that, is that, that I suppose. <laughs> uh, could we do that now? Let's, if I can get some solder on a battery, we'll try a battery. See if we get sound of life in it. Because if we get sound of life in it, it's a point to do revisit. If we can't, there is no point, so might as well check now, innit? Uh, just need a little bit of wire. Uh, you'll do, I think. No, you won't need to hold. Uh, spare wire, scrap wire. I must have some knocking about. Loads of odds and sods there. There we go, lower jubbly. Right, so I'll do, quickly cut this in half. Then with my lighter, I shall cut do that. Expose a bit of that. I'll attempt to even. I hate when it does that. So I've got a nice bit of wire exposed. So I'll we'll do the other side as well, I'm at it. So that's that side. Uh, oh, not burning the camera there. That won't be good. I think it might be heat proof for all I know. I doubt it. Cheap piece of crap. <laughs> Alright, so actually put it back in there a second. That's me a little helping hands. So I know this is we're not what you're expecting, you probably expect to see somebody professional and know what they're doing, but can I say, if you watch them in previous videos, 
It's ingenuity at its best, put it that way. I wish. Yeah, solder, solder, solder. That bloody old player. Had you before, where did I put you? There we are. So, quickly just. You can go on the battery side, get all spread out. Hopefully, this will work. But then again, maybe not. So, like I said, don't want to that. Get a little bit of flux from the side of me. Because if you try to solder it as a battery before and the solder just seems to ball up, your problem is simple. Flux is the problem, is where you'll get help there. Not that's too much, hopefully not. A little bob of that in there. Little, tri little tip as well if you're into batteries. You want to be quick. You do not want to be keeping the heat on this for long. So, let me stop now. Right, so, heat that up. Oh man, don't ball off on me. There we go, lovely. See, it only needs a little bit, you get me? See that? So, it did work. Right, so, I'm going to stick a bob on the bottom as well. Don't like to put pressure on batteries, but fortunately, I've not got much of an option at this point. I'm going to get you to stay up. So, clever clogs. Stay up on something. I could heat you up on. I need that for soldering. Uh, yep, yeah, that'll do. Old soldering thing. Beautiful. Right, so, flux. Ugh. Need flux. I say it won't work about it. You might get lucky. I do a couple, but it's you won't last long, really. Don't rely on it. Um, look at them screws everywhere there as well. So apply heat and solder, lovely jubbly. Because I could there, massive blob on it. All right, so let's go. See if we can quickly be sneaky, sneaky. Eight. Stay there, you. Just see if we can just be. Got tin in this one, see if we can get it on. Come on, come on. Stay still for me. Stay still. That's the one. That's the one. Beautiful. Don't need to follow, I don't care. Oh crap. Then I flip it on the other way. Another one we've previously tinned. Should just literally tap to it very easily. Beautiful. So now we've got a positive and a negative. We do need to tin these sides though because it won't stick to that otherwise. Unfortunately, this is leaded, unleaded solder, uh, solder that I'm using here. And the stuff on the boards will more likely be leaded. So if you want that to mix with that, <coughs> it will mix if you don't use flux. You don't def def desperately need it for this. But it will help. Don't wipe off. Uh, I'm gonna hold you now. I'm an idiot. Don't need that in there now. So what we can do is get to the side. Got flux in there still, so we're all good. So I made them for. Originally I had three, but one broke, so I had to take it off. <laughs> to amputate. They are, um... and yes, it is because I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> I like it cheap, like the budgie. Yeah, they're probably flux on that. That'll help. I hope this works. If this works, obviously, you're not going to see me put it back together tonight because obviously I need to mess about with the housing and clean the crap out of the starters. Um, what I'm looking for a uh, solder now, but I will do a vault video probably tomorrow now where I had the rechargeable battery. I might have to make it micro USB at the moment because I've not got tiny Type C ports spare, but it doesn't matter, does it? And they can change that when we go back to adding the Bluetooth or something. So there you go, two, two tin wires coming off the battery. So now I can tack this straight into there. Hopefully, right? Yeah, so I need to. Suck. Right, yeah, yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit, so what I'll do, trying to 
Come on, I'll just pick you up before. There we go. So I need to get this little cable somehow fed back through again. We're going nearly. Yes, there we go. So I'll get that back in there. Oh crap. Come on. Oh, don't lock on me. Come on. Come on. Go in. Go in. You good little wire. Think we're good? Nearly. Tweezers, they'll do the trick. Right, the trick is to line that. There we go. You want that white line lining up with it, I think. That's quite important. If you wonder why I'm doing this, it's because if I don't, it won't show any sign of life on the front, because I'm pretty sure that's how the either the controls themselves or the exterior buttons in the front. Yes, line door should do the trick. It needs to be pretty, it just needs to do what it's told. Right, so positive goes to this little plus thing here, and negative goes to that little one down there, which I'll show you in a second. So we'll go for this one first, yeah? So positive for us is this side, the top of the battery. So actually what I'll do, I'll trim that down a little bit because I don't want to shine against something else, so quickly let's give it a little snippity snip. There we go, nice and short now. Like I said, it should just tack it against it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna heat this up and I'm gonna come in with the other wire and just touch it in and that should do the trick nicely. Obviously I'm up. If you slightly zoom in on your screen, if you're watching for YouTube obviously, um, you should be able to get a little bit of a zoom, but not much. Right, so. Get you nice and hot. Beautiful. A little tub test. Beautiful. <clears throat> yeah, I like the mini disc concept. I never really, I was too poor at the time to afford one. <laughs> but I, I was intrigued by it. They seemed like cool little things. So now I've got one for free. That's clearly like, oh, oh, it's like someone's pooed in the battery hole. <laughs> it's nice, a leaky battery, obviously. But. It is what it is. Well, hopefully, if it's not corroded in size too much, we should hopefully be able to salvage it. And this makes it the perfect candidate for me partially dissecting, shall we say, <laughs> to make it better. Because I'll see the back there. Hopefully, the pulp, the ejectment won't drop out. So, see this, it's uh, got like a rise to it. You see from the side of the profile. So, my thought was if I cut this section off here, maybe leave like a spine or something, or rib, you know, ribs for it to support or whatever. I could add an external battery kinetic through there and it would all look the thickness of that, so to speak, cuboid it off. You know what I mean? Lose the battery connector, uh, connector there, whatever you call it. Because then obviously it would give me like, that much space to work with with a battery. And with, well, I'm not showing you that much, sorry, about that much space, roughly. About that much space. Show the camera, Chris, not me. <laughs> uh, yeah, see that space there between my finger and the actual housing? Well, that gives me that much space to work with to put a um, not a massive battery, but a bigger battery than what is, I think it's 600 milliamps or something, uh, sorry, 1.5 volts, so nothing special, you get me? And all my batteries are 3.7 volts, so I'm trying to figure out what resistor I need to, you know, add between it and the positive, whatever it is, or the negative, but I'll figure it out, obviously. Maybe I'll find a battery that's literally specifically just for that, you know, the one point. Five volts. Yeah, we got to. Should have power now. So if this isn't totally dead via the exploded battery inside it. At the day, the battery terminal is totally kaput. It doesn't exist anymore. There's literally nothing left of it. And hopefully it hasn't like leaked into this important stuff to the side of it. Because if it has, then the thing could be dead totally. But if I turn this over now and we turn it on, we see signs of life. This means it's a very good candidate for my mod the hell out of video. Right, so I've got flux in my finger there. So let's see if it does anything. Are you kidding me? Oh no! I don't know, right, huh? Yeah, so I'll go to the right sections. So it's not just that, then there's more wrong with it. Oh, bugger. Should we see if we eject it, does that do anything? The eject button, it won't work. I would eject it. That maybe? No? 
Not maybe. No. Not maybe. No. <laughs> oh crap. And touching the balls not open at all, but sad it in for a penny and for a pound. I'll see something there that looks maybe dislodged. Oh crap. I'm sorry about that, obviously. I thought I was gonna get it working. With my little Frankensteinery didn't seem to work. I'll do the trick, so I can take it apart and investigate and if I do get it working, like I said we'll do the revisit video where I add the Bluetooth and all that stuff. But now I'm gonna detach these. Put it back together and it can go for my parts pile. So thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Bye!